Is that him as a baby? Umur, kunjur menin kunjur shal khaska. Umur, mong menin shat khal maskan saham bolat al khan. Umur. Wah 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 people dems. So I think I'm still running a little bit on a high from the Dimash concert that I watched at the weekend, which was just, well, you'll see. You'll, 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 you'll see my reaction as to what I thought of that concert. Very, very, very happy that I watched the, the, uh, the London one before any other ones. But there were loads of people that come in. Oh, actually, I should probably address this. So I think one of, um, I think it was Madam, Madam Mim, who I've, I've just kind of fallen in love with her name because I, again, I love Sword in the Stone. And she made the point that I'd, I'd reacted to a fan cam um, when there was actually an official copy of, uh, of I think it was a Love, Love is a Dream. There was an official copy of that on Dimash's channel, on his YouTube channel, which I didn't see. I didn't, I, I, I literally didn't see. I typed in Love is Like a Dream subtitles and just clicked on the first one that I came across. Uh, similarly, uh, when I was looking at this concert, this London one, again I typed the same thing in, trying to see if I could find one with subtitles. I couldn't find one, so I landed on this multicam one. So I'm hoping that that one is all right with you guys. <laughs> um, it's it's how it's difficult because again, as a reactor, as you can imagine, I, I'm I'm not just reacting to Dimash. There's a lot of things I'm reacting to all the time. So as you can imagine, my time. Is I don't have much time to really get into things and react to them, so I do my best, do the best I can really, and to make sure that I can support all the artists in which I react to. And like I said, I feel it's absolutely within her rights or anyone else's right not to watch if they don't want, don't want to. But I wanted to explain that it's never a conscientious decision to be like, <laughs> you know what, I just I I'm, I'm just not gonna watch that video because. I've having just done some fan cam stuff myself for the Beyonce concert I went to. When you're enjoying yourself, there there's no control there. <laughs> I mean, there's no control. So ideally, if there is one. You definitely want to let me watch that. But what I will say though, it has made me a little bit more hesitant because now I'm about to react to Almir, and I literally was like, I don't know if this is the right one. Is this, is this the right video? Is this on, on the channel? So hopefully, this is the right one. Uh, it looks like it's on his channel anyway. But there were two Almir videos, but one was Almir Ate and this was Almir. This came out three weeks ago, so I'm going to presume it's this one that everyone is talking about that should be reacting to, so I'm going to have a look at that. But yeah, I want to say, just bear with me guys, I'm doing my best. <laughs> so this one, I have got no idea what it's going to be about. Let me just close this window, sorry. Oh god, it's, it's, it's so hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> and now you want to go and do Brown's work. Thanks, friend. So, yeah, let's watch this and see what it's about. It said it's a mood video, so I don't quite know what that means. But I guess we're going to find out together. <laughs> Is that him as a baby? Umur, kundur menin kundur shal khaska. Umur, mong menin shat khal maskan saham bolat al khan. Umur, siyuk te te siyuk te. Shall I 
таң болса шалғанда кейде жас көктен бол түмөктен бол дауылдатсаң дала өмір ризамын мен саған қашықпан мен саған аялайман бағалайман тақтыр жылатта арманың жолында мені құлтам өмір құлатта қателесіп өкіндіріп кешерім соратта yesterday that um his grandpa passed away um recently and which you know rest in peace and i'm really really sorry to hear that um and obviously sending all condolences to did to, to dimash and his family but that's that song there and i think the video with it as well in terms of his journey from a wee baby the point where he's at now and he's so much older and the people that obviously helped him to get to where he is and the fact that one of the closing shots was, was on his grandmother it, it just makes me wonder whether or not this is also an ode to his grandfather as well the people that were around him that loved him and, and helped him to get to where he is it's so difficult coming into this song in terms of where my emotions were, 
it's so different. Imagine that someone has got the ability to kind of tell a tale like that. That again, as as it's it's, it's really hard to explain. But maybe I don't have to explain because if you're watching this and you've seen it, then you will get it as well. That as as sad as I feel about what I've just seen and heard, it's also really beautiful at the same time. To watch his trajectory, to watch his journey from this young little kid, this young little baby winning all winning all these awards and stuff, with this little side party that eventually became a mullet. <laughs> um, and then how his, I guess, fortunes continued to just grow and change when he went on the singer. But before then, because I didn't even realise necessarily he'd done that much before the singer. But obviously he must have done because you don't get to be this otherworldly talent and just happen to end up on a singing show. So all of that training and all of that learning in instruments, teaching, soaking all that musicality in from all those people around him led him to those parts. And then to get on shows like that and then continue to shine and continue to do concerts and to and to have all these adoring fans around the world and all these amazingly famous people. I'm sure it was David Foster, Dave Foster was in there as well. I'm sure I saw, saw Nicole Kidman at one point. I was like, how many famous people do you know, sir? <laughs> how many are there? But the other thing that was just really quite clear was just how much, I mean, from the song itself, and the lyrics of the song, you know, don't test me, don't send things to test me, I'm in love with you, I cherish you, and I guess he could be talking about those people, he could be talking about his inner child, and the fact that he never let his dream escape him, and he continued to work really, really hard, he could be talking about the journey, I'm in love with the journey, and actually the journey itself has been such a beautiful one, and I know that He's a man of faith, so I imagine as, as hard as it must be for him right now with the loss of his grandpa, I can imagine there's a lot of faith that's keeping him quite strong and his ability to kind of, as I say, love everything in and around the process that is brought into the point that he's at, which I'm guessing would include all of his family's input and, and stuff. But it's just, that was definitely a different... Um, it was definitely a different type of video for me because again, even when I even when I usually feel moved or I feel sad, I usually feel moved or sad about the, the tale that he's telling. It's not necessarily that I feel bad for him. I feel bad for him right now. Do you know what I mean? And mm. isn't it crazy that you don't know people? but they're able to move you in that kind of way. Mm. And the other thing actually I will say before I finish this reaction, the there's a point in that when he literally was, his voice was like, almost like he was screaming. Do you know what I mean? But like, it looked like a, like a raspy scream. Like I don't mean scream as in it was off key. I mean scream as in a vocal cry. Do you know what I mean? Like a vocal cry, which I've never really heard him do before. Like I've heard him do his supersonic, you know, up there kind of whistle notes and 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 high notes and falsettos and booming. And then and again, his low register as well. Like I heard one of the comments of someone yesterday was saying that they love to feel the low, like, um, what did they call it, the low tremors of his voice, like, r like rumble through their body. But there was that bit when he, just before he did that run down, he did this amazing like, I'm sure, I'm sure I made a face at that because I literally was like, what was that? <laughs> what was that? His vo it just it just seems to be getting like better and stronger and more mature with his vocals. I guess is is what I can say. Like the the decisions that he makes, but you know I'm saying that. But his the decisions he makes previously are all fantastic. Look, he's just amazing. Like at this point, he's just amazing. That was an amazing, amazing story. Amazing to see his journey. Amazing to hear those vocals, and it was dripped. 
in emotion. Absolutely dripped in emotion. So I'd love to know what you guys thought of this. And yeah, I'm sure there's probably things that I've missed in it. So by all means, please feel free to send me to the Mash University and explain what I, what I have missed. But I really, as sad as it was and as emotive as it was, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy watching that journey. But like I said, it just, just hits. It's just hit a bit different. It's hit a bit different, that one did. Uh, if you did enjoy this, then do drop me a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And I do have a Patreon as well. So if you want, want to head over there and show any kind of love, I'd really, really appreciate that too. But for now, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you on the next one.